Hi everyone, it's Adriana here and today I'm going to talk and fe product feature the Couture Creations Clear Casting Resin. This is a fabulous product in creating some great little embellishments for your scrapbooking, cards, even jewellery making and anything to do with decorating with moulds and resin. The clear casting resin is easy to use and with a ratio of 1 to 1 so it, you need to use exact amount of A and B to get the great resin finish. It solidifies in about 10 minutes but then it needs to cure overnight for the best results. So I'm just going to show you exactly what you get inside the box. So in the box you get part A and part B. These are clearly marked as you can see. You need to have equal amounts of this mixture to actually work. You get three little containers with uh, markings on the side but you also can buy extra containers separately. You also get two implements to stir and also what I recommend that you have on hand is some gloves and working with this product you need to be careful to have a vent well ventilated room and also you need to have some rubber gloves to be able to work with this product. To clean anything that gets spilt use your isopropyl alcohol I usually, usually decanter it in a little turbo spray but also tr try to use a surface that can be easily cleaned. I have a mold here that I'm going to be using some of this resin and I'm also going to show you some other tips and tricks and show you exactly how I use this resin. In my little container here I'm actually going to mark the spot because it's really hard to tell the markings. I've actually marked the spot 10 millimeters and 20 millimeters so I'm going to pour part A of the resin into the, my little uh, measuring cup. You'll notice that when you buy your resin it has actually got a seal on top which is excellent so you won't get any spillages when you're transporting it. So here I am measuring 10 mils of part A and the reason why I put that marker on the cup is because once the resin is in there it's really hard to see the actual number so you really need to make sure you mark it exactly where 10 mils is. Then I'm going to also now put 10 mils of part B and again these bottles are sealed with a little bit of a metallic plastic on top. You just break that away and then you can use the resin. It takes about 10 minutes for it to actually solidify, like really hard. And it's really easy, easy to clean these instruments with, with some alcohol solution. So now I've measured the part B and part A. So now I'm going to show you, I'm not going to speed up the process. I want to show you how slow I'm actually moving the mixture. It's really important that you mix the two parts of the resin together and mix them through thoroughly. You need to keep stirring and really need to move the bottom of it and also scraping around the sides of it for at least three to five minutes and you can see if you notice how slow I'm going. Now you can speed up the process. Uh, this resin doesn't tend to make a lot of bubbles but I found that if you just do it gradually and slowly you'll get a good result and making sure that you scrape the sides and the bottom of the container thoroughly at least for another two minutes as well. With both bottles being 500 millilitres, you've actually got one litre of 
resin ready to use so it's a really good product and good value to use for all your resin molds the actual resin is clear I've done a few molds with the clear and then I've also added alcohol ink on some of the the resin that I've created uh, with some of my molds I just wanted to show you how wonderful they look um, with alcohol ink and particularly snow cap I used white snow cap alcohol if I wanted a white mold and I've used metallic gold and I've also used fluoro blue as well and I found that I really love the color that comes out of it when you put the alcohol ink I've tested it also with some glitter alcohol inks as well so I'm going to show you those finished products once it's all cured and comes out of the mold as well You can see how my resin is actually gone a bit more thicker. So here's my mold that I'm actually going to now place a little bit of this resin inside some of these molds. And with my implement here, I'm just going to pour, slowly pour a little bit of that. If you have intricate molds, I'd use maybe a little spatula like these implements to help you move the resin around. So as you can see, 20 mils of this resin, completed resin that has been mixed together, has created some wonderful, unique little moulds. I have a beautiful butterfly, I have some dials, some clocks and some bees, some cute little bees. I'm out actually now going to actually add some of this resin with, or al alcohol inks to some of this resin to make different colours. And the first one I used was the alcohol white snow cap, alcohol white ink. And I'm going to show you what that looks like when you're mixing it up. I'm also used the glitter, amethyst glitter. I wanted to see how that reacted with the resin. And I mixed a little bit of the alcohol ink inside the leftover that I had there already mixed up. And I just mixed it through really quickly and you can see that the glitter is still coming through and the end result of that is really beautiful I really love the effect of the glitter coming through the resin once that's all dried up so 20 mils of this resin completed like mixed together did quite a few different molds but I also created some more with the alcohol inks and I used this time the white alcohol inks making sure I gave it a bit of a shape before I used it and I created some more using the white alcohol ink and also the resin and placed it in my molds let it dry overnight and then I'm just going to show you now their finished product it's a great product that you can color these afterwards or you can leave them as they are that is one of the glitter ones the purple glitter and these are one of the clear ones. The clear looks beautiful too. And the white alcohol ink one looks absolutely amazing. They just look like they're made with white resin, but they're not. They're just coloured with the alcohol white snow cap alcohol ink. The clear resin is really clear, and also the glitter ones, you can see very slightly, you can see a bit of the, the shimmer on them. So I really like the effect of them and how they come out. Some of them are still flexible which is really good so if you wanted to put them on a bottle or a can or wrap them around something circular they would still blend in 
and if you do get a little bit of resin on the edges of them you just get your craft knife and just cut off a little bit of the excess the feathers are beautiful and they're really flexible and I like that because I want to put them around a bottle so they will look nice molded around and then I've also got these beautiful frames all done with alcohol ink in the white and with the resin so that's my finished products all dried and then I used also yeah, you can see the butter, the flower, the feather here, really nice and flexible. So I can use that and decorate that, color that in. And the little bee. Really love the effect and how it came out. I'm also mixing up some cover colors here. I'm going to use the gold, metallic gold, um, pearlized alcohol ink. And when I placed it inside my mold, it looked really lovely. It comes out very matte gold but I really like the effect that you can actually color this resin with alcohol inks making sure to actually give your alcohol ink the gold metallic alcohol ink a good shake and then placing a couple of drops of that inside my mixture of my resin and mixing that thoroughly through for a couple of minutes before pouring them into your molds So with this metallic gold resin, I've actually made a couple of molds with some embellishments here, some frames and some really nice embellishments that I've used on a card. So I just wanted to give you a rundown on how easy it is to use this product. It's a great product if you want to create your own embellishments and it is so lightweight, it doesn't make your card or your scrapbooking page heavy. And also if you want to use it for off the page projects as per like a jewellery box, you want to decorate a box or a bottle, you, you'll find that they are quite lightweight so they will just glue easily onto your project quite nicely. So here you can see once they're cured, I've used also the fluoro blue to create some of those blue embellishments and also the copper and also the gold metallic gold alcohol inks incorporated with the resin. I really like the effect and also with these little clocks here you can now actually grab your paints or some waxes and for the detail I just want to show you how well detailed they are. I'm just using some gold wax paint over the top of the little clocks embellishment here because I want to show you that the detail of this comes out superbly and you can see that just adding a little bit of color onto the resins here you can put detail on them and make them very antique looking this little crown here I just made it with some copper resin alcohol inks mixed up with the copper and just adding a bit of the color on top of that beautiful effect. So I hope I've inspired you to have a go at with this product. It's very easy to use and can be used for a number of different projects. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye for now.